Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> Breathe in deeply and listen to your inner voice. My inner voice. Ah, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. I <laughs> say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? A little sweeties are. A little keys. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor little guy. He looks abandoned. Um. <laughs> Did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> we found him on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid. He was we're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. And there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? No, seriously, I mean it! Check out his fangs! <laughs> well, you're right, Quash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. They are my friends. My house. And it's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Wash said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why you wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No. I, I mean, yes. I, I can explain everything. You say you're sorry right now. Promise you'll never ever do that again or else. Hmm. 
Sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool! So we can all play together again. Yippee! Yay! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy. <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Hmm, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. Huh? Huh? Oh, just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it! Wash! Again, Wash? <laughs> oh, poor Poppy. Come here. <laughs> you won't get me this time, you little squirt. What's going on now, Wash? Huh? <laughs> And you're proud of that? You bad dog, you're punished. You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home. <sighs> oh, the poor guy, all by himself. Yeah, and it's thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah? Let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit, and you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are, but I can be ferocious too. After all, I'm a wild boar. A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak! You... you're not a real cat? <laughs> no, I'm a wild beast! And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too! <laughs> Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? <laughs> That's even better! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Who does this miniature flea bag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! Oh, he threw you out too? No, he didn't. Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I got a plan. Listen up. That is so cool. Uh, you here? How dare you come back into my house? It's time to reveal little Poppy's real face. Yuck! If the living's 
Stone saw this wild-looking creature. They'd chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> now we'll see who the wild beast is. <laughs> A minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. <laughs> Just a little chat. Huh? Ow! <laughs> Vic, you never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, we'll listen to your inner voice. It's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough. Huh? Hmm. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yes, I love you, Vanessa, but I must leave you.
This morning. Good thing everybody is all snug and warm inside. back in for a snack. Weird, isn't it? under one condition. Which is? That Sam agrees to let me keep the acorn forever. Do whatever you want, Vic, but hurry up! Follow me. <laughs> the costume is under there. <laughs> no, it's not! Hmm. Unless I hit it behind the TV. We've turned the whole house upside down and still no costume. A 
All right, so at least we know it's not in the house, which limits our possibilities to... The rest of the world? Shall we have a cup of tea in our room? Oh, this doesn't look good. Do you mind telling us what you're doing under there, Sam? Uh-oh. Hey, come on, you big oaf, you. What's wrong with him? He seems frightened of something. If I have to take apart the entire bed to save our darling Sam, well, then I will. Well said, darling. Let's quickly go get your toolbox. Um, we seem to have a bit of a problem. Hold on a sec, guys. No time for small talk, Eugenie. We've got a costume to find. Sam, whatever you do, stay here. It's all over for me, Wash. You guys have done your best, but I've come to the end of the line. Please, take care of Eugenie, my dear little sister. I'll never forget any of you. Never, ever. Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Confession to make. I love you. <laughs> it's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here, and majority rules. Oh, it's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! <laughs> My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! <laughs> Whoa! Silly! What do we do with the real costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cause the future is now! Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? Mm -hmm. I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> the magnetic 
magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful. Uh -oh. Quick, everyone outside! Ah! Whew, just in time. This is worse than super glue. If this continues, the neighbors are going to get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. Uh-oh. Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second. Mr. Bad is not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the? That's us. <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried. Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me. Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Susie! <laughs> not a dodo bird. Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costume so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on. Makes you look fat. Go on, get lost. Go back to your forest, you losers. These are our costumes now, and that is our life. <laughs> <laughs> Disasters! And our reputation is shot! All that work we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke! This time we're gunners! It's back to the forest! <laughs> no! No way are we gonna let them take over our lives! Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of! Yeah! We're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird! This time you've gone too far, raccoon! Hey, guys! I think these bozos didn't quite catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets! They're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! Go back to the forest! 
Off, you nasty beasts! <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Poor guys, I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Do you seriously think we're gonna let you choose channels? <sighs> Not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons! They stole our costumes! You've got to help us! Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly, and you'll see. My plan is going to work. <laughs> and what's more? The Living Stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the Bath Robot Enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? Seven more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. Oh. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Happy birthday to all you rabbits 
your lucky day is Funny Day. And to celebrate it, all of our Beepop Funny stores are going to spoil you silly with games and goodies and a free beauty kit. Look, I heard him say a beauty kit, right? Huh? What's going on, girls? No, we can't see anything. They want to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! <laughs> Mm -mm. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Da, it's a bunny mobile! A self-driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state-of-the-art self-driving car? Uh, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry, if I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-989998819991991. Seven two five three in case of emergency. Destination: Bebop Bunny. Bunny. Yay! Bush, stop the car! No, we're gonna get caught! Oh come on, Sam! Don't worry. The windows are tinted, so there's no risk. Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree. You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Oh, Wash, this is too awesome! Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving! But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls, I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash, hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh oh, the animal pound! Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's 
go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Ah, uh, they're not following us anymore. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, okay? <laughs> What did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. <laughs> found! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Yeah. Automatic remote oh control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> the super duper tunnel slide has just opened. Come and get your fill up. Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sierra said so we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. Oh, wash! Speed up! They're right behind us! Gone. We're safe. Yeah, Wash, you can slow down. They're gone. I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like uh, stuck. <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. <laughs> Got Eugenie and Susie without getting caught. Call the emergency number. I think now's the time. Oh, yeah, good idea. But, uh, what was the number again? Uh, after 9998819991999, is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? But the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Sandra, how can I be of assistance to you? Yay! It works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool! I ditched them! Oh! Oh no! I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please <laughs> Did you just touch something? Charge <laughs> battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. You two genie! Susie! Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Living Stones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes, and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey! How did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out! Bebop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner! <laughs> wow! That works! Awesome! Thank you, girls! <laughs> 
You see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> You'll agree? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. back and next time vengeance will be ours, amigo. First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program. Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house. Whoa, what is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome. You think he wants to surprise the living stones, too? No idea. But sure is pretty. Hey, you! Oh, no. Why'd he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. Duh. I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the living stones a surprise? Oh, yeah. You'll see! It'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes! I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh! If your plan was to surprise the Living Stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh, no, no, no! Not our costumes! No. So that wasn't the plan, then? Wow! I dig the new costumes! Groovy! I want one, too! And me! No, they're not groovy at all. Quick, we have to wash our costumes straight away. <laughs> Lucky the Living Stones have gone out for the day. Yoo We're back already. Oh, those spots. What are they? Honey, come quickly. I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease. Ah, uh, you're hideous. Quick, let's get the Yoo events. <laughs> ah. <laughs> How troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Ugh. We've got to get them out of there and fast! Come on, let's try the window! I don't want to go back to the forest! In the rain? In the cold? No kibble? No TV? No roast chicken! Oh, oh, Sam! Give me a hand here! Hmm? Ah! <laughs> Not even a small bar of soap! Okay, plan B! We gotta get out of here! Let it be! You can go on lunch break later! It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning! And I do believe you have sick animals to attend to! Okay... Hmm. 
So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? I'm gonna lock this door, Vladimir. I know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Bush? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No. I don't know yet. We need a sick. There you go. What was I telling you, huh? You. We're here. Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welma won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. <laughs> they have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> well, uh, Love. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> there we go. Quarantine. Well done, Vladimir. Don't move. I'll go see who it is. What? How on earth there did you... There we go! Mission accomplished! Your day is coming, last, Vladimir! Acute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens! Fame and glory will be yours! All yours! Gl glory Oh, well, ma. Come on! We're organizing a press conference within the hour and we're gonna show the world in its greatest what this extremely dangerous virus is about. An extremely dangerous virus? I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've got to get out of here and fast. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage isn't locked like mine. All you have to do is push it. Uh, uh. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so that, that put me in a special cage. But if you'll lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm? I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Hmm? <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat! Meow! Meow! And I hate dogs! Uh, everything okay there, buddy? I got this right. He's a dog who's a cat who doesn't like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden message in all this. Enough! That dog's gone crazy! I got a dog and I'm not crazy! Yeah! Ah! What's going on, Welma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <gasps> ah! They're going to contaminate us! Vladimir, your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now. Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir. Be a man and show some guts. You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. 
Easy now, easy. You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a... Sam, don't give away our secret. A uh, cat. Hey, I'm actually a cat too. Meow. Meow. Yeah, so are we. Meow. Meow. Have you all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined. Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tail. <laughs> A dog? I hate dogs! Video conference activated. Hello? 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 Mushy, mushy. Hello? What just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguise as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Think! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase! <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? Ugh, see you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix, your 24-7 emergency pest control solution. Huh? Row, 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 row. What's got into you? 
That's enough, Washington. Bro, 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 bro. Honey, whoa, can't you see whoa, he wants to play? Whoa. All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, fetch little doggy. So, go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. What in the? What's got into you, Washington? Ah, the mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> It was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, AKA the exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they could be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao. Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So oh, where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I worked for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild anima fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How huh? about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Oh, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Follow me. Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. 
I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Rush, you're amazing. I'll come with you. I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's... it's... it's worse. A totally new species. I'm about to discover a totally new species. It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor. It's disgusting. I've never smelled anything like it. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's sure to work. Girls, you really think I'm going to parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it. It won't matter. There's no danger for you. You're just a standard issue pet cat. Standard issue, huh? I see. The answer is no. <sighs> I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face with <laughs> cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please have mercy, not the seven-year chabashu. <laughs> A new odor. What is it? It's it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist. That's enough. What's going on? Let us in. Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now everyone, head for shelter. Victory! I've got you now, you vile, unidentified creature with your putrid odor. Thanks to you, I'll be famous again. I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. Mm? What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. This is amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Why was I crying again? Mm, because I wish I was a cat so I can eat kibble all day long and watch TV. Oh, yeah. Because I wish I was a cat so I can eat TVs and watch kibble. Day long, all? Oh, forget it, Sam. With my magic rainbow, I grant you happiness and wonder. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eugenie. You don't look 
look like a unicorn. It's a game. We're only pretending I'm Lily the Unicorn. <laughs> Lily the Unicorn. That's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the Unicorn is amazing! If you say so. Okay, Sam, put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the Living Stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the Living Stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away, and you can say farewell happiness and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit costume in the trash. So from now on, it's unicorn or nothing. We're home. Sam, haul him off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. Where on earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place! Too late! I can't believe it! It's incredible! Yeah. Have you seen this, Sweetie Pies? A unicorn! Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey! I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard. Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's your genie? Uh, she must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my Hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Kibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. So, who is it that said, farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. And here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Huh? What do you mean? <clears throat> Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Hi, <clears throat> Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh! And to begin with, with my magic horn and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi! Give me that remote control! Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Hush! With my magic horn and rainbow power, let me make your dearest dream come true! I name you Commander of the Remote Control! Mm. Banana pancakes! Win the holiday of a lifetime! And cream sauce with broccoli and... Sam, don't sulk! You heard what Gigi said! <laughs> with my magic horn and You're not through yet? There are folks trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Pop mm -hmm. up. And what are you gonna do 
you next, you... Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. What? Now you're up to three kibble. <sighs> yes! With my magic horn, I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like the same neckerchief as Alvarez. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? No way! That's not nice. One kibble. Oh. It's not a hat, it's my cravat! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. <laughs> no complaining. Cough it up. One kibble in the naughty box. Yeah, totally but when everything is said and done... I decided to... Throw my legs! <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's gonna be trouble. Boo hoo hoo, we're so afraid. <laughs> you know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. She started it. Ah, 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 give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace, <laughs> or else. You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble like you need. Ah, ah, ah. She's watching us, quick, let's be peaceful. But that is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? <laughs> Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstagram. <laughs> How horrific! You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever could that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. Are you happy? Amazing? Wonderful? <laughs> 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 a tiny bull? <laughs> What is going on here? Huh? A wild animal? I'm calling the dog pal. Huh? Aww. Hello, animal pal. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. goes, who's going to give me all the kibble I can eat? Sam, there are worse matters at hand. If you're hungry, eat this. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> Eugenie's costume, she hid it in her magic horn. I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Eugenie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere. Nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! Huh, that's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool! <laughs>
Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Who work in supermarkets throw out perfectly good food into the garbage? Uh-huh. Why in the world would they do that? Go figure, Sam. You know humans, always doing really bizarre things. Shouldn't we have asked the girls to give us a hand? Nah, this is our treasure, Sam. Just for the two of us. There it is. We're gonna put everything in the cart and bring it back to the yard. <laughs> huh? What do these two deadbeats want? Yeah, uh, we, uh, want to get the leftovers from the supermarket. Cause this happens to be our dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. Let me make things clear. This entire street is my turf. Maybe we could share, like 50-50? Nah, we never share with losers. <laughs> Say what? What do they mean by losers? Losers, hmm, let's see, how should I say this? You, for example, with your tacky costumes, well, you're losers, and they yeah. are the exact opposite. They're cool. Huh? Those guys? They're cool? Oh, oh yeah! yeah! They're hipsters! The coolest guys in the world! Have you ever heard of zipsters? But they do weird things, no? And why shouldn't they? You know, when you're cool, you're allowed to do anything. Totally. Hipsters impose their coolitude. <sighs> they absolutely rule the city. Sam, I've got a plan so we can get our treasure out of the dumpster. We become Zipsters. But I thought we were losers. <laughs> and that's gonna change. Once we become Zipsters, we'll be so cool that Fang will be dying to share with us. Mm -hmm. And what if he refuses? Then we'll help ourselves. After all, Zipsters are allowed to do anything. <laughs> this Zipster kit I ordered on the net is just awesome. Ooh. Ooh. We're almost there, Sam. Are you sure? Zipster, Sam. <laughs> you sure about that? Absolutely. Maybe we should check the guide to being a perfect Zipster, no? Nah, don't need it. Just look how cool we are. So? Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating between ridiculous and hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into them? It looks like they're making fun of us. Nah, no way. It's just that... We've got the look, but not the attitude. Remember what the girls said, Zipsters impose coolitude. They're allowed to do anything. We gotta impose, Sam. Ah! Sorry, girls, but we wanna watch something else. <laughs> uh, hey, are you nuts or what? Who do you think you are, anyway? A Zipster. <laughs> you mind, Vic? <laughs> Totally wacko! Don't you dare put your butt on my pillow! Oh, yeah. I don't get it. I thought they just loved zipsters. They think we're fake zipsters. No, oh, it's because they know our beards are fake. If nobody takes us seriously, Fang will never give us our share of the food. Of course. Once we're outside, nobody will know these are fake beards. And this time, we're gonna follow the guide to being a perfect zipster. 
You see, Sam, in order to pass ourselves off as perfect zipsters, we gotta do cool stuff like that. Hmm. Our turn to play. <laughs> hey, those are ours! <laughs> Who are those two bozos? <laughs> You're the one who has to look out, buddy, because we are Zipsters! <laughs> How do you stop this thing? You know those guys? Hmm, wouldn't be Wash and Sam Livingstone, would it? Impossible! Sam and Wash don't have beards! They stole our place! Give us back our toys, you mean thieves! What are you doing? We didn't steal anything, Sam! We're zipsters! We impose ourselves, period! <laughs> <laughs> it's sure not easy being a zipster. Yeah, but it's worth it. Check out all our admirers. Hmm. Stop! <laughs> Who do you think you are, anyway? It's absolutely forbidden for pets to make little kids cry. Where did you come from? There? Yeah, well, we know the animals who live there, and they're nothing at all like you. Especially Wash, who is more handsome, more intelligent, more... Yeah, right. Uh. Total nonsense. As for you two guys... <laughs> and don't even dream of ever stepping a foot in here again, you bubs. <sighs> Sam, can you believe it? We look so much like zipsters that nobody can recognize us. Do you realize what the future has in store for us? Yeah, uh, cool stuff. Way better, Sam. A future without our costumes. Since no one recognizes us anymore, there's no reason to hide. <laughs> reached a level of ultimate zipstertude, Sam. We rule the city, so now's the moment to go find Fang and recover what is rightfully ours from that dumpster. <laughs> hey, yo, hip cats. Mm -hmm. How's about going 50-50 on the dumpster with me and my main dude here? <laughs> yeah? And why would I do that? Cause we have become zipsters. Zip what? Zipsters, dude. Isn't our look sufficient proof? What are they doing? We are doing the knee jerk, which is not something for losers. That's right, Fang. And now we belong to the club that rules the city. More like fools of the city, I'd say. <laughs> fools? I thought we were zipsters. Of course we are. And since Fang doesn't want to share, we're going to impose. <laughs> Hey there, you clowns. Didn't you hear? <laughs> but they're, they're wild beasts. Ah! Let me alive! <laughs> and to think the solution was in front of our snouts the whole time. All we had to do was be ourselves. The wild ones! <laughs> <laughs> why didn't we think of that sooner? Ah! That's probably why we didn't think of it sooner. My leg! 
lettuce smoothie. Huh? Where did they put their costumes? Come on, I got an idea. <laughs> and to think that we barely even got to taste the life of a zipster. Like that lettuce smoothie? Blah. What in the heck are those critters? Looks like a rabbit and a canary wearing beards. Unbelievable! Don't move. I've got to take a photo from my Instagram account. <coughs> oh, rats, we forgot all about our wild animals. <coughs> 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 Phew, that was a close call. So, who's the coolest now, huh? Way to go, girls. Thanks a ton. But you can get rid of your beards now. Enough zipstery for one day. Girls? Those zipsters are girls with beards? And to thank you, we have decided to share our treasure with you. At least the zipster effect helped us get rid of Fang. <laughs> yeah, more like the no costume effect. <laughs> Boy, what a bunch of losers. They don't even have beards. And yet, everybody knows that if you want to be a hip pet, you can't be without one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Icy Wash? I've never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. <laughs> Someone could see you. <laughs> Yo, come on! We're alone! Wow! A shark! A shark? <laughs> where? 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 You don't see anything. Oh, well, that was just to get you out. <clears throat> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Look, it's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> What is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Or rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! Uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique.
Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the living stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! <laughs> flies, perhaps, but flies who love me! <laughs> you and I are gonna get rid of those flies! Guys, let's go outside. It's far too noisy in here. Nest. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. <laughs> if those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast. Brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to. <laughs> well, well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah. yeah, your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, we have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of... Well, you know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. <laughs> well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. <laughs> Yo, if only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Faster! 
They're gonna catch up with us! Hey! How about that? My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> Mitch? Hey, didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here! Uh. Help me, my beloved flies! That bear wants to separate us! Huh? Huh? There's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know. But it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise I will never, ever forget you. Promise, Sam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Jeannie, but we never understand your games. But this one's really easy. It's a TV Rebus. I zap from channel to channel, and we have to understand the words from the pictures. I'll show you. Car becomes dive. While chasing this car. Sometimes wild animals venture into Stop! the sea where they Stop! Don't change channels! Food. Worst of all, they bring with them a whole host of diseases transmissible to humans. I've had it. Always the same old baloney. Foxes are so wild. They loot the trash. They carry diseases. Don't worry, Wash. We know that foxes are great guys. Mm. Hey, how about we create a documentary to redeem the good name of foxes everywhere? I could show the world what incredible animals we really are. I'm going to need your help. <sighs> Nobody's interested in my game. Eugenie. You're my go-to camera girl, okay? Really? Uh, hmm? Yay! Let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> hey, Vic, wanna play in our documentary? 
Do I want to act? I am a born actress. Great! We needed walk-on <laughs> parts. <sighs> Everybody in position! And action! Mm -hmm. Vic, out of the way! You're hogging the mm -hmm. shot! So what? <laughs> Cut! That's great! Two more scenes like that and the show is in the can! Do some editing. Ugh. Anyway, your crummy documentary doesn't deserve talent like mine. Crummy? My documentary is not crummy, is it? <laughs> wow! Eugenie, your documentary is awesome! Thanks a million, buddies! Because of you, Fox's reputation ratings everywhere will go through the roof! Did you see that, honey? I always thought foxes were aggressive, solitary animals. But he is so cute! I just want to bring him home and make him ours. Hey! You're not gonna take your costume off, are you? Why not? You heard him. The Livingstones want to adopt a fox, which is pretty handy because I am a fox. Wash, what if they change their minds when they see you for real? You'd get yourself sent straight back to the forest. I hear your anguish, Sam, but as my grandfather used to say, when the fox gets tough, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, the fox is mightier than the door? No, but what was it he used to say? Whatever! So, are you taking your costume off or not? <laughs> uh, hear that, honey? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's even cuter than on the video! Watch out, honey. He's still a wild animal. No, look. He's totally harmless. You see, how about we adopt him? We do already have five animals. Six will be way too much. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Enjoy your meal, little fella. Look at the wild guy who got taken in and tamed. Bravo! You're a genius, Wash. And it's all thanks to me. If my acting in that video hadn't been so good, you'd never have gotten to take off your costume. Hmm. Mm. So, guys, costume's not feeling too tight? <laughs> yeah, mine is. So I'm gonna take it off, too. Duh, no, don't! Why not? <laughs> I had to use ruse and cunning before I got to take mine off. First, I made videos, and then... Hey, I can make videos, too. Coming, Eugenie? We're going to redeem the good name of wild boars everywhere. Sam, I don't think it'll work. Foxes kind of look like dogs, but wild boars will always look scary to humans. Very well. If that's the way it is, I shall redeem the good name of wild boars all by myself. Okay, my name's Sam, and I'm a wild boar. I know who I am and where I'm at, and I can tell you that wild boars are some of the nicest around. I gotta say, I love myself. Yeah. That is totally lame, pitiful, and pathetic. But give me the lead role, and I can guarantee your video will get 20 times more hits than Wash's did. Wash! Wash! I've looked everywhere. He's disappeared. Don't panic. Maybe he's in the garden. Wash! Wash! Washington! It's weird. We haven't seen him since the fox arrived. You think that the fox has frightened him off? Woof, woof, woof! There you are, boy. We were worried sick. No more shenanigans like that. You're going to make up with your new fox friend. And I can think of nothing better than a game of flying discs to get buddy buddy. <laughs> Right, we'll do the same as Wash. You choke on some kibble, only this time I'll cruise it's in okay. and... okay, I get it. No need to explain my vocation to me. And action! Ooh. <laughs> Shoot, what was it Wash did already? <laughs> Say, where's the fox gone? <laughs> 
Ah, there it is. Catch! Do is pretend to you. Yeah? Hmm. <laughs> Our little fox's first breakfast. How sweet. I know. How cute would it be to adopt him a little friend? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Hello, Animal Pal? Sam, why did you do that? I wanted to get taken in and tamed like you. I want to be able to live the real me, too. You'll have all the time in the world to do that at the pound. They just arrived. Put your costume back on and everything will be hunky-dory. Okay, but... What about you? Me? <laughs> Sam, I have nothing to worry about. The Living Stones have taken me in as their own. <laughs> you can come out now. I caught your wild animal. Hey, huh? let him go this instant. That's our fox. We called you about a wild boar. A, there is no wild boar here. And B, housing wild animals is forbidden by law and foxes are no exception. Sorry, at your service, sir. Oh no, our poor little fox. And what about Wash? Imagine the shock he'll have when he finds out that his buddy has disappeared. They were getting on so well. Hang on, where is Wash? Wash! Sorry for yourselves. You'd be better off racking your brains to find out some way of getting them out of there. The pound truck is still sitting right outside. You have the suits? Huh? <laughs> On, start now, will you? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hazelnut you see that, honey? It's like Eugenie is trying to tell us something. <laughs> I think you're right. She's doing a TV rebus. I love them. Right, focus. There's a dog, a prison, a truck. What does it mean? <laughs> the, the animal, animal pound. pound. Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have picked up a dog this morning by any chance. A dog? No, nothing today but your fox. Can we just make sure? Uh, yeah, yeah. sure. At your service, ma'am. Oh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> you were right, Sam. I should have never taken my costume off. I promise that next time, I'll listen to you. When you're finished with hugging and kissing, we still haven't started my game yet. Ready for Super Eugenie TV Rebus? Here we go! The boar is a wild animal. Stop, Eugenie! Don't stop channels! be domesticated. The boar could turn into the perfect family pest. You see? Maybe I could try again. Just ask it. No! 